Good morning, it's Richard Finley from David Walters Yachts here in the Caribbean. It's another beautiful day in St. Martin. The sky is clear, there's not a cloud to be seen. This morning, we're here to look at a 2014 Hylus 49 that's in fantastic shape and extremely well outfitted. There's every accessory you ever wanted for long distance blue water cruising on this boat. She's big, she's comfortable, she's beautiful, she's in fantastic shape. Let's have a look. I'm gonna get the camera turned around and we'll take a walk around. You know, for me, it all starts here on the aft deck of these boats. A long time ago, when I was first experiencing center cockpit boats, and particularly Hylases, at that time was like, you know, the 44 class. I just love the idea of the kind of back porch you find back here with these comfy seats to sit out at night as the sun is setting, having a bit of a sundowner and enjoying oneself. But right from here, we can see the kind of fantastic condition that this boat is in. All the stainless is wonderful, gleaming with polish. You can see that the gel coat is in really wonderful, well, well cared for condition as well. As well from here, you can also see that the non-skid is in fantastic shape. Oh, and here is a big boat just gone by to give us a good big wake to make this a little more challenging. We've got a big ocean class life raft for safety. The magma barbecue here is plumbed to a dedicated five pound bottle for your convenience. The enclosure is full with a joiner in between the bimini and the dodger. It's also got full sun shades all, all the way around the enclosure that will roll up and tie into the bimini. Up on top of the bimini there's 500 watts of solar. We'll see the other panels as we come back aft again. There's another 430 watts back there so you can power the boat with minimal use of the generator. Here we have hip-high stainless steel rails for security. Again, here we see the gel coat is in wonderful condition. Over to our left, we've got big Antel electric winches to help you do your work as well as manual secondaries. The rig is quite impressive. My favorite feature on this particular boat, and I've known this boat for a number of years, I've always admired the Schaefer furling boom. Talk about a way to make your life easier safe and easy, nearly infinite reefing all from the cockpit. Frankly, I've always been a bit of a skeptic uh, of in-mass furling. The Schaefer boom, on the other hand, which I think is the best engineered in-boom furler on the market, gives you all of that convenience, but in a fail-safe system. Again, up here, you can see the caliber of the stainless. Everything has been beautifully polished and continues to be beautifully polished. It's not just a one-time shot. We have sunbrella covers for all the hatches, but over here some have been removed and you can see that the hatches are really in excellent condition. We've got a crane here to manage the spinnaker pole. It's a hell of a big thing that you wouldn't want to manage by hand. The rigging wires are all in lovely condition. The rig was just fully inspected yesterday and received a perfect report. Look and notice the really big Norseman fittings that are here. Here we have some beautiful stainless dorades, some granny bars with hook holes for the halyards up here, up in front of the mast. And again here on the cabin top, all of the gel coat is in beautiful condition. Up forward here we have a vast big sail locker as well as a large chain locker. I've always admired this on these hylises as well, this big stainless covering plate to keep everything up here in good condition, not slapped around by the chain. There's also a big and brutal Maxwell 2500 watt vertical windlass. Tied into the Maxwell windlass, there's a 300 feet of 5 8 chain that's in great shape as you can see. And we've got a nearly new Mantis swivel here and it's further attached to a brand new, never even been in the water, Mantis M2 105 pound anchor. Talk about security. When this thing gets planted, you're more or less bolted to the bottom. I happen to know the age of this thing because I helped assemble it just three days ago. It's big enough that it's a bear of a thing, even for two men to assemble and install in a dinghy. So you see more beautiful stainless up here. Everything is just polished and gorgeous and wonderful. This great big Furlex furler up here is original of the boat. But then right over here, when the current owners acquired this boat, this was merely a removable Solent stay. It was reworked with this Pro Furl furler installed uh, to make deploying the stay sail that much easier. From here we get a beautiful shot of the whole vessel. 
here you can get a beautiful sense of the scale and the size of her and really she's a shapely and gorgeous vessel I'm gonna try and my, make my way safely past these sheets there's lots of light coming into the boat the hatches are all quite large there's a small hatch up here in the forward cabin this is a hatch that's up and over the forward berth here are also some fixed ports to let in light at the front of the salon and then two big hatches up at the forward end of the salon as well to allow in a good breeze again look at this very stout rigging all in really good shape down here the turnbuckles show nowhere no real sense of aging at all of them and this has been in salt now for 10 years I think in her first life her first five or so years of life she was kept mostly in the marina so the boat didn't see the kind of wear and tear you get from full-time cruising However, the current owners have put a tremendous amount of effort and money into the boat to make her this extremely capable blue water cruiser. You can see a list of these improvements in the listing online. Suffice to say, she's got everything to make life convenient and safe at sea for long-term cruising. The cockpit is big and roomy, but we'll talk about that separately. Again, here's these beautiful big Antel winches. You can also see right over here there's a great big port letting wind into the owner's cabin at the back as well. And back here, I'm Canadian, you know, so that flag always gives me a bit of a smile. We've got a great big structure here that's built for this newer Superwind wind gen with carbon blades. There's a Starlink on one arm, there's AIS and GPS antennas out here as well. And a feature that I always talk about whenever there is one because I've never had one and I sure wish I did. Here's an outboard crane to make bringing the outboard board so much easier onto this beautiful Edson stainless outboard rack. And here's those beautiful lounging seats again. We have a lot of storage here and a lot of lazarette storage over here as well. And I mentioned at the beginning of the video that we had 430 watts of solar out here on these Cato davits that were installed when the owners bought the boat. These davits are from Cato Marine in Annapolis and they have two Harkin winches on here to bring the dinghy up easily in the evening. Oh, by the way, the dinghy that comes with the vessel is an OC tender, one of those cool hard tenders from New Zealand. They are really, really desirable here in the Caribbean. We've also got some security lighting in the back and the regular davit line swinging around. I also already mentioned the barbecue is on a five pound bottle of its own instead of the silly one pound bottle. You know you run out so this is a lot more convenient in the long term. And then coming over to the cockpit. I'll take a separate shot of this but here is a big beautiful center cockpit with lovely high quality upholstery that's in fantastic condition. It's got a newish Raymarine 12 inch Axiom plotter and i70 series instruments all over the boat. I'm going to pause here and take a jump into the cockpit. Well, here we are in the cockpit, and as I said already, it's a great big, beautiful cockpit. Look at the quality and the condition of this upholstery. It's very comfortable and very sort of nicely tactile. In this model of boat, there's a great big switch panel for everything you would ever want to do. Up here is the skipper, strobe tricolor anchor, foredeck, nav, uh, steaming light, uh, panel lighting, cabin lighting, windlass down, compass light, etc., 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 and a bilge alarm over there. Here we've got on either side we've got electronic electric controls for the larger winches um, here on the helm we have uh, a very new 12 inch uh, raymarine plotter i guess you can't see that out oh, there you can see it now the polarizer is working fine for us and uh sg70 era uh, uh, raymarine instruments over here engine controls more instruments up forward in this sort of dashboard area where you can keep your stuff while you're underway. And I've mentioned it before, and maybe it's silly, but to me, one of the measures of a cockpit is how well can you nap underway? As skipper, I don't like to sleep downstairs. I like to sleep upstairs when people are on watch just so I can be really handy and available. And this looks like a place where uh, if they'll give me the low side, I can sleep real well while underway and keep rested and safe. Got a beautiful dining table up here. Oops. See if we can get that gimbal around. Got a beautiful dining table over here, folds up, folds out. It's very typical. Um, the surround again, sorry, the surround again is uh, fully complete and it's uh, fairly new. It's about four years old. Nice eyes and glass everywhere. We've got a divider here we, so we can take this section, we can take this section out and get a lot of breeze through here. There's a, some security lighting up here. 
cushions. And here's a view to the back over there. Okay, well, it's time to go downstairs and see what there, what there is to see on this vessel downstairs. And what I think we're going to see is lots of really beautiful wood. So I've just come down the companionway into this large and very comfortable salon. There's so lots of seating space over here on the port side. A beautiful big table that folds out. And, and the woodwork, man, oh man, look at the woodwork in this boat. It's so beautifully finished. It's, it glows by itself in the sunlight or even in, in the shadowy bits, it's got glow of its own. Very beautiful honey color, some nice art. I'm afraid it doesn't go with the boat. That's uh, that's a uh, souvenir. Here's a nice big uh, uh, banquette that I think you could easily use as a pilot berth if that's on the low side. I think you can probably sleep on the other side if you need to. There's lots of uh, bilge storage in this area, but also um, there's storage outboard here, storage here, of course, storage there. And as we swing around, you see the same thing on the other side. Sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy. There's storage here, storage here, storage here. And there's storage on this little stool here. And there's storage underneath this banquette and that banquette over there. Uh, over and to port, there's a very, very functional um, nav station. Another newish, I think it's from last year, another newish Raymarine Axiom plotter. Um, Big switching station there, big power uh, distribution station, some beautiful nautical clocks, good quality Scirocco fan. These are from my hometown of Brockville, Ontario. And uh, there's a Color GX uh, Victron system monitor as well as the BMV 712 uh, Fusion stereo system, a really sophisticated ICOM VHF, and more storage underneath the table, more storage and drawers over here. And look at this chair. This is about the best nav station chair that you could imagine. Super comfortable and very safe. So that's the nav station. If we continue, oh, if we continue to turn to the left, this gets us to the bathroom. Sorry, the aft head from here. And I'll talk about to this part when we get to kitchen or galley as well. So let's go ahead and move forward. This is the base for the mast here. So this is a different layout. Many of these 49s are a three cabin layout. This is instead an owner's Pullman layout. So there's a great big, uh, super comfortable looking Pullman berth here. Lots of light coming into the boat from ports here and ports here, air and light, and a big hatch up above the head. Um, turning around slowly again, so as to not make you too dizzy. We get to, I'm going to have to show this from up here. We get to this very large, uh, here it is. Oh, look at beautiful woodwork here. Just beautiful. Look at the layers and layers and layers of varnish that have been polished in there. Here we've got a beautiful big hanging locker and drawers down below. I can't quite get far enough back to show you. Interestingly, this uh, used to be a vanity, sort of vanity space with a mirror and a, 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 an opening mirror chest. This was infilled a few years ago at uh, Driftwood in Grenada, and they did such a good job. You would never, ever know that it's not original to the boat. They did such a nice job. So a lot of space here. There's tons of storage down underneath the berth here. I hope I'm not swinging around too much and making you dizzy. And then this cabin comes with a really large forward head. If you go under there, you get to the thruster. It has, behind the shower curtain here, it has two large outboard storage spaces here and here. And as we turn around, there's a roll of Pfeiffer tasks to make some stuff. A uh, big uh, fire extinguisher and a beautiful big vanity with all sorts of vanity storage. And we have up here, it has another big hatch to let in uh, lots of light and air, uh, but right now it's covered with um, sunbrella cover to uh, keep it nice and fresh. The owners haven't used this cabin very much. It's all, you know, only for guests and down here guests are only so frequent. The beautiful cabinetry in here, more storage in the front. Big. Uh, Draining grate down there takes you to a drainage sump. So I'm going to uh, turn off the camera and make my way without making you dizzy to the galley and then the master. 
Well, we're back here in the galley of the Hylus 49. And this is a really great working space, beautiful Corian countertops. And like everywhere in the boat, there's really a lot of storage. Storage here, storage here, storage here. This is a spice cabinet. Um, this is a freezer on this side, this side. This is a fridge on this side. And they both have front openers as well. There's more storage in over here. Well, I guess that's engine access there. That's storage. This is storage. That's storage. This is storage. This is storage. This is storage. And there's a secondary spice cabinet for the less popular spices over there. Um, Force 10 uh, stove, three burner stove. Uh, again, lots of cabinetry and just, I love, 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 love the woodwork in this boat. It's all in such fantastic condition. It originated very beautifully, but it's aged really, really well. There's been covers on, uh, on these windows the whole time. Um, so it hasn't aged very much. This uh, has just been installed, this uh, ice maker. The other one was at end of life. So this is uh, uh, measured in weeks old. Also, uh, air conditioners fore and aft have just been replaced as well because they were sort of at end of life. But there's lots of room to work here. Uh, big double sink, nice uh, faucets, salt and fresh. It's a Nespre uh, Nes Nes how do you say that word? Nespresso and a four slice toaster. Talk about luxury. Oh, here's one nice feature. At some point in its life, this boat had this nice custom mug rack made because you need those at hand in the morning. Okay, we're going to go back to the master suite. And I hope that fan isn't making too much noise. I'm going to take this water bottle out of play here. Put it here. So this is a really big... Uh, space and a comfortable space. Again, I keep talking about it, but look at the woodwork and look at the storage. Hanging locker, hanging locker, hanging locker. Another locker behind the bathroom door. Uh, access to the engine behind that there. Um, this bed is a custom-made handicraft mattress that's a few years old and it splits and a lee board can be put in the middle. And I meant to mention also up forward, there's a lee board that slides in the middle of the mattresses up forward and a lee cloth as well. So this will be safe while you're underway. Uh, lots of light and air coming from that big overhead hatch and exhausting out those two uh, hatches out over the back uh, transom stairs. There's a small sofa to sit on to change your socks or put your Fowley boots on over here. Again, more storage outboard here. A little sort of dashboard area to keep your stuff over here, keep your phone and stuff. Another hanging locker on this side over here. So just tons of space. And uh, how many times am I gonna say the woodwork? Look, look at the grab handles. The grab handles up here are just beautiful as well. Everything is so satiny gorgeous. Um, the time and care it takes to make stuff like this happen, it just impresses me. So the last thing to look at, you know, without turning, without making you too dizzy, is the forward head, uh, sorry, the master head. And it has the heads area here with a big sink and a Corian countertop and storage down below and storage behind and an electric flush toilet that's also a bidet, which is, I think, very classy. Since France is just a few hundred yards away, you've got to think classy like that and European. And then as you go forward, the shower stall is separate to have a nice wet, uh, sorry, dry head situation. So here's the shower stall here. It's a little bit difficult to film, but there's the shower stall. And another beautiful wooden door separating you from the forward areas of the vessel. So that's about it for this boat. I think I'll turn this around. There's me. So for me, this is pretty well a dream vessel. 49 feet of extremely well built, really well equipped, um, blue water, ocean going, safe, capable, quick sailing vessel. She's lying in St. Martin right now, ready for adventures for a new owner who wants to take her and explore the world, the Caribbean or the world. Um, she's got years and years and years of life left in her. So any sort of adventure you can imagine is up to you to, uh, to follow your dreams. You can call me at the numbers that I'll put right down here. I'd really like to hear from you. I'd really like to show you this boat. She is a gorgeous vessel. Thanks very much for watching.